$5 Games presents Rogue Legacy. This was the first roguelite game I've played. The story begins with a knight entering a castle, saying things like his duties are to his family, but that he is only loyal to himself. Upon attacking the king, you are booted to the main game of invading an ever-changing castle. Inside is the first entry of a diary left by a prince relating a tale of an assassination attempt upon the king, potentially what happened in the prologue. The prince was instructed to search this place for a mysterious cure that could heal any ailment. Further entries are found throughout the castle. You'll have to find them and read them to get the rest of the plot for this game. Gameplay wise, it's a rogue light platformer. Whenever you die, you play as your next descendant who invades the castle. You choose one of three randomly generated heroes, each of which have their own class and quirky conditions, like only being able to see in sepia, being short, or exaggerating how much damage they take. As you explore the castle, you earn gold, which you then spend upon dying for permanent upgrades on this skill tree. Some of these upgrades are straight up stat upgrades, some are class unlocks, some are class upgrades, and others increase the variety of descendants you can play as. However, there are two caveats. One is that every time you buy an upgrade, all upgrades get more expensive. The second is that whenever you enter the castle, you lose all of your gold. This can be mitigated somewhat by the equipment and relic shops that do not change their prices, but you should get used to losing your gold. The castle itself is pseudo randomly generated. There's always four areas, the main entryway, one above, one below, and one to the right. Each area is guaranteed a boss room and a connection to the main entry area and the rest of the castle is made up of developer created rooms which are randomly selected and assembled. A grossly simplified example is to imagine a deck of playing cards. Each card represents a room the developers created and the suit represents which area it goes in. Whenever you start a run you grab 20 cards, organize them according to their suit, add the required rooms and bam you have your castle. There are a lot more constraints and nuance than this, like there being hundreds or thousands of potential rooms, but I just wanted to explain the basic idea of it. I really enjoyed this game and have beaten it about five times. New Game Plus upgrades all of the enemies to at least their second tier, and New Game Plus Plus upgrades them to their third tier. But what was really enjoyable for me was starting the game over when pursuing the achievement Thanatophobia. This achievement requires beating a fresh game in 15 lives or less. It was fun making each descendant's life count, briefly checking the hardest areas early on to see if there was a quick chest that I could grab, and strategizing each upgrade to get what was necessary for the bosses. So if you really enjoy the game, I recommend trying to go for this challenge. Anyways, that's a wrap for this game. Consider picking this up instead of a sword that's the same size as you.